So obviously the first thing you need to do when you're putting a DSLR or mirrorless camera on a tripod is just to line up the screw hole on the bottom of the camera with the screw on top of the tripod and then just twist away. The first thing you actually do is remove the quick release plate from the top of the tripod. This basic Manfrotto tripod that I have has a lever that you swing open, releasing the plate which you can then take off. Just know that many other tripods will have a plate that maybe slides out once the lever is turned instead. Now, before you go and attach your plate to the bottom of your camera, I'd suggest that you take note of how your plate will be fastened back onto your tripod first. To attach this plate, for example, you need to slide the short edge into this groove on top of the tripod, release the lever to allow the plate to fall into place, and then swing the lever back over to lock it down. Now that we know that, it's time to officially attach the plate to the bottom of the camera. So once you've lined up the screw with the screw hole, start twisting the plate until it's loosely fastened to the camera. At this point, you need to make sure that the plate is facing the right direction. In my case, the plate has arrows indicating which direction the lens needs to be facing when attached. So I want the short edge pointing towards the lens and the longer wraparound edge pointing away. Once you're all lined up, all you have to do is spin the screw mechanism to fully tighten the plate onto the camera. Now that the plate is on, release the lever on the tripod, slide the short edge of the plate into the groove, let the camera fall into place, and then swing the lever back to lock the camera onto the tripod. If you did everything correct, then your camera's screen will be facing in the same direction as the tripod handles. Twisting the main handle allows you to both pivot the camera left and right and tilt the camera up and down, while twisting the handle to the right allows you to change the camera's roll axis and is also how you level the camera. When you have your shot framed, simply twist the handle back in the opposite direction to lock your position. But remember, not all tripods are the same, like this fluid head tripod meant for video that is controlled by various locking mechanisms rather than handles. Most other features typically found on a tripod are usually for adjusting the height of the camera. Some have a twisty little lever that when loosened allows the camera to be raised up and lowered down. Just make sure to tighten the lever once you choose your height. But as we all know, tripods can also be adjusted by extending the legs as well. The two main types of locking systems for tripod legs are latching, where you open the latches on each leg to extend them, and spinning, where you loosen the tension grips on each leg to extend them. Either way, the key is to extend each leg the exact same amount, if you want a solid base and a level camera. And finally, certain tripods may also have leg locks near the top. When flipped one way, they limit how wide each leg can be open, but when flipped the other way, they allow the legs to be opened even further, thus creating an even wider base for the tripod. Oh, and to take the camera off the tripod, make sure to grip the camera first, then release the lever, and finally remove the camera.